On July 28th, 2023, me and my husband moved from Texas to Missouri and bought this house. We finished almost the entire remodel in a matter of two months. And let me tell you, that was the most stressful but exciting two months of my life. So let's hop into this remodel recap video with the before videos. These videos are a little bit shaky and whatnot. I was in a rush, but you can get the general idea of what our house was like before. You've got the classic like 90s wood. This was my office. The, one of the reasons we bought this house is because there was so much to work with. We got a great deal on it. I mean, those bay windows, the window in the bathroom, this is the guest bathroom. Um, they have these like weird square short toilets and this is the guest room, which was the basketball room. The entryway, this was the primary bedroom, kind of a weird color and the primary bathroom had super short counters, this like fake half wall, a tiny shower, this like cabinet went to nothing, but it had a really good base. Everything about this house, I kept saying it has great bones. There's so much to work with. In the living room, we had this like kind of awkward fireplace. This railing was like wood. There was even that wall in between the living room and the kitchen with kind of a little doorway that you could walk between. This is one of the first things we knew we wanted to change. The kitchen was a really great start. It did have granite countertops and white cabinets, but we actually decided to paint them black. This is the laundry room, which also really great start and just a little video of the garage. Downstairs, I forgot to get more videos, but you get the general idea. It has this like old carpet and just old vibes. So let's jump to the first day that we pulled into our house. And when I got there, my brother and my dad were already working on ripping out the carpet. So we just hopped into demo day the second we got there. First time pulling into the garage. Oh my gosh, I haven't even seen it empty yet. Hello. Coming downstairs, here's literally everything we own. <laughs> kind of weird to see it all just like sitting out. We just went and got steak and shake, set up this little table, and now we can eat. Our first morning in our house, we were so excited, but we had no idea the journey that we were about to embark on. So we were trying to embrace the calm before the storm. Oh my gosh, the instant humidity on the camera. So we started cleaning, and there's this contact paper everywhere, and it's not coming up. I did get it off of one shelf. It took forever. So we're gonna go get coffee. We very much so need some coffee because today we are doing demo day. And so the true demo begins. Once we get back to our house, we're gonna start ripping up carpet, just about anything that needed demo. And then our house would not be put together for months. And we were living in it while this was all going down. this tile was actually one of my favorite projects. It came up really easily and I just wanted to rip out tile everywhere but this was kind of the only bathroom that we had tile to rip up. We immediately had to get rid of this like pink old 50s vibes bathroom. I actually didn't really mind the pink but if we we're gonna modernize the whole house I may as well modernize this bathroom. Not pictured here is me starting to rip down the wallpaper which ended up being the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Here's a little update on the wall that we decided to get torn out and then we also decided we wanted to kind of redo do this fireplace which ended up being a whole thing but here we're just taking off this like a wood part and then we would decide from there we could either keep it brick or we could add some stuff around it maybe a mantle later on in the video we actually break the brick and decide to just full-on remodel the entire fireplace we did find an old cup behind there and for some reason this wood was super hard to get out of the wall the way that it was put in just didn't really make any sense we still had the stairs carpet to rip up all of the tack strips to rip up from the carpet because we were going to be putting in an LVP. Ripping up this carpet off of like our weird shaped stairs was actually torture. There were so many things in this demo that was actually torture but needed to be done so we got it done. So we're still living in the basement pretty much until the end of August so we have a little bit of a setup going. There's my work setup. I did get this painted which means I can move in here. This is a little sneak peek of the vibes of the house. And you can already start to see it coming together because paint has started. 
Because when we did this remodel, I wasn't really active on YouTube. I was also planning my wedding. I don't have a ton of videos of like every single step. So let me catch you up before we hop into the next clip. We were living in one room in the basement with all of our stuff kind of shoved downstairs, both working down there. Our painters were painting upstairs, which was causing fumes to go pretty much throughout the whole house. And we were really like struggling every time we had to leave our room. My husband was like coughing all the time and it was a little rough. Plus our cats had to live in like the one room with us. Luckily, it's actually the biggest room in the entire house down in the basement. So it wasn't that big of a deal. But as soon as you went upstairs, it was just like fumes. We were also living with basically having people coming to our house at 7 a.m. every single day. We were never alone, even when we were working. And right before we went to bed, pretty much there were always people at our house. Many nights we went to bed between 11 and 3 a.m. We had to go like grab dinner at fast food places almost this whole time. We had no kitchen because everything was being remodeled. And it was just a big struggle bus, but I'm really thankful now that we did it. Remember everything used to be brown and now it's all white. This is all just primer, so still getting stuff started. This room is going to be all green. I'm so excited, green with black accents over there. We're still in the prime stages, priming stages. I did get all the wallpaper off this room, which was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. This was actually worse though. I'm not even done because it's that bad. And the master priming up the doors. They're all gonna be black. And this bathroom is the worst ever. It sucks. Um, we're doing a full bathroom remodel and there's just so much work to be done before we can even get like tile put in in our new shower. I just want it to be done already. It's gonna be so cool when everything's done, but I'm just exhausted and everything from everything I have to do. So I have to peel all this wallpaper, skim coat the walls, I need to take down that wall. I need to finish taking that out, take the old shower out. Like there's so much to do this weekend in here, but I just haven't started because I know how much work it's gonna be and I don't wanna do it. Another little tidbit about this bathroom. That wall was literally a fake wall. The counters were super low. We wanted to redo the tile. We wanted a bigger shower and it was all just this huge process. Trying to find someone within our budget to be able to do what we wanted. And we were on a huge time constraint. So if you're remodeling your house, don't be on a time constraint if you're trying to save money. Luckily, my dad has worked in this industry for a long time and was able to find some guys to help us. But this bathroom was extremely stressful. We didn't think we were gonna have a bathroom for like months. There were so many design choices that had to be made last minute, things that changed just constantly throughout this remodel. Living room is just a room of doors right now because they're all getting primed. This is whitewashed, but it's actually gonna be black. Um, we've got doors primed. Oh, this is done. Yes. Look how cute. Now that it's all has the trim and everything on it, it looks so good. Love. There was like a whole thing sticking out right here as well, and that's gone. Still need to rip up these floors. And then this is all primed as well. The house looks super dark because all the windows are obviously taped up for painting. But y'all, it's gonna look so good. We're also doing all black cabinets in the kitchen. That'll be one of the last things that gets painted though. And then we have, I think, just over a week until all the new floors get put in and it's just gonna be a whole new house once the floors are in. That wall being taken out truly has made the biggest difference. Once we get to the end and I show you the after of my house, that has opened it up so much and I love the layout. I was originally really stressed about how the stairs kind of come right before the kitchen and there was that wall. So once the wall came out, it actually provides just enough separation of living space and kitchen but also still open so that I can watch TV while I cook and when I'm hosting, I can still talk to the people in the living room. Another tricky thing is that this house is obviously older and nothing was set up to be like watching TV or sitting in the living room with the TV, all that kind of stuff. So it has a pretty awkward layout. Once again, when we get to the end, I can show you how I dealt with this awkward layout in the living room, but now I absolutely love it. Also not pictured was the timeline that we had to get our floors in. Our painting people were a little bit slow and we were like, we have this date that our floors are going in and everything needs to be done before that because we can't have paint all around if we're getting our floors put in. There were some real wood floors in this house, but we decided to rip them out because we thought it'd look really awkward to have LVP, those kind of like thick modern LVP and then have a real tile in like two spots of the house in the entryway and the kitchen. So we did have to rip it out. If you have never ripped out real wood floor, it is extremely strenuous. Is that the right word? 
on your body. I actually had a plank fly up and go into my leg, like lodge in there, and I still have a scar from it. And this was what we spent a lot of 3 a.m.s doing. A lot of the videos is just me, but my husband was helping a lot. I just didn't record as much when he was helping. We actually ended up hiring a good portion of this done. We had a handyman who we were paying hourly who could help with pretty much anything, but I tried to get as much of it done myself. But at the time I was still working a full-time job and it was a lot. It looks so easy watching it but it was not then randomly my brother came over and he was like hey we can rip out a bunch of the stuff in the yard that you don't want the yard was pretty overgrown it was an older man living here it was actually one of my friend's grandpa's so a lot of this kind of wasn't taken care of and so my brother came over and we're like we could just rip it out with this strap and we ripped out as much as we could this was actually a really fun day it was like august so it was super hot outside but we were just having a good old time ripping out pretty much anything that we could we eventually want to redo our yard that is very low on our list right now but we had to at least somewhat clean it up a lot of these plants were attracting a lot of bugs that would get into the house or they were blocking windows so we're like let's just pull out pretty much all the big plants and then we can kind of start fresh with our yard and we did eventually break my brother's strap because we tried to pull out the biggest bush ever and obviously that wasn't gonna work out so here's when you walk in this is the mud room or laundry room we've got new black doors We've got gold accents on everything. Like I said, everything's not finished, but we're getting there. Here is the new kitchen. Just put our table up here that we're gonna use for now. Black accents all over the windows and the big reveal of the kitchen, which is a mess right now, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's black now, it looks so good. This wall was taken out. Our new floors are in, they're gorgeous. I got all of the gold accessories that I'm obsessed with, started moving into here. And this is the view from the kitchen now without that wall there. Here is the living room with the new floors and my fiance sitting on our new couch, which is super comfortable. And the railing is now black. Our fireplace is still under construction. So like I said, we're not done yet, but we're getting there. Stairs are almost done. Um, there's not really anything new downstairs except my studio, so let me show you that. I still can't believe that these stairs used to be carpet. Really not looking forward to moving all of this upstairs because I feel like all I've done is just move and tear things out and break my back. Anyway, here's my studio. I'm not even taking the time to clean. I'm just showing you guys. Yes, I installed that light myself. I'm actually an electrician now, I guess. Front door is black. And do y'all remember how ugly this hall and bathroom was? Well, upgrades. I've got gold plates on my switches, which I'm obsessed with just all the little details. Um, that needs a doorknob. This is the bathroom so far. We just got our tile put in, so it's coming together. Walls are painted. Trying to add additional context to the random clips that I have of me updating you guys. But the plan was always to do upstairs first, the entire remodel as much as we could upstairs. Then we'd move all our stuff from downstairs to upstairs and remodel the downstairs, which would be ripping up and replacing carpet, doing paint, all of that kind of stuff. But another thing was that our primary bedroom, we also wanted to put carpet in that bedroom. So carpet kind of had to be one of the last things to do. And since we were remodeling the bathroom, bathroom in there. We had to wait till the bathroom was done or as close as possible before we put the carpet in so that we weren't ruining our new carpet. It just made things a lot easier, but that meant that we couldn't sleep in our master bedroom until pretty much two days before our wedding. Our bathrooms probably still have another week and a half left of work. We're having professionals do it, so we're just going with the flow and using the one bathroom downstairs right now. This room used to have basketball wallpaper all over it, and now it is freaking gorgeous. This is gonna be the guest room. Already started kind of moving in here. I also still need to change out like all my light fixtures. These are all gonna be fans instead of just lights. But this is just like our basic setup of a room. We are actually gonna be moving into here because our master bedroom is not done yet. So I'll show you the master since I just mentioned it. We're doing carpet in here. So we're gonna wait until our bathroom is done so that they can keep using this space. As you can see, it's a mess because they're ripping out our entire bathroom. It also just got tile put in today. So I can't go in there, but that is our new shower. It's gonna be white tile in the shower, black tile on the ground, and then we have a lot of white and gold accents. So it's gonna look really good when it's done. If you don't remember, there used to be a wall over there and a wall, like a half wall in between here. Um, I'll try to put up before and after pictures of everything, but this is it so far. And this room did get painted, but it'll be a while before we can even move in here. Now the one room that's like 80% done is my office. Ah, okay, here's the reveal. It's the green room. <gasps> 
It's so gorgeous. The floor is honestly just made the biggest difference. Like look how welcoming it looks now. Besides that, we essentially ended up moving about four times from Texas to Missouri, from downstairs to upstairs, from one bedroom to another bedroom. It was just constant moving everything we owned, which was a little exhausting, but that's part of remodeling. Welcome to my basement. I wasn't able to move everything upstairs last night, so I'm gonna do it tonight. But for now, I'm trying to move everything into the middle of the room so they can start taping and painting and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, there is still a lot of stuff, but seeing it all off the walls, I'm like, wow, this basement is big. I've just had stuff everywhere since I've moved here, so. I'm excited to get this basement done. So just to explain the reality of the situation, we're a couple weeks into the remodel. Our wedding was coming up soon. We were gonna have guests staying with us. Throughout this process, there were definitely times that me and my husband got extremely discouraged and wanted to give up. We wish we could live somewhere else while this was getting done. We wish we could push back the wedding. We wish we could do like literally anything but remodel our house. It was extremely exhausting. We both worked full-time jobs. We had two cats. We were trying to plan our wedding and my husband had just moved to a brand new state. It was extremely stressful. I think it really strengthened our relationship just right off the bat. And overall, I don't necessarily have any regrets about the way that we did it because we got it done so fast. But I just wanted you guys to know the reality was that this was not really a fun experience. I always had this dream to buy a house, remodel it, live in it, maybe even do that a couple of times. Now I know that it's not really fun, <laughs> especially if it's your own house and you're living in it. But this was the point where you're at in the video where things were finally looking like it was gonna happen. It was coming together. My vision, everybody was like judging my vision. I was like, I want black trim. I want gold doorknobs. Everybody thought I was crazy. I want a green office. And this was when it finally started to look like it was coming together. The colors were matching. Everything was going great. And we could finally envision our lives in this house. Downstairs is being painted. So we're moving everything up here. Our master bathroom is almost done. Let me show you. <laughs> oh my gosh. They just installed the vanity. Don't know why I said it like that. Toilet installed. There's so much more room in here now. It's actually crazy. And this is the most beautiful vanity I've ever seen. I am gonna switch the hardware to gold. This is just what came with it. Ooh, it's the soft clothes. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <gasps> Love that. Drawers down here as well. So much storage. Black tile, black grout. Still need to tile the shower, put up the mirror and the lights, but it's coming together. This might be my favorite part of the whole remodel so far. And our carpet should be going in this weekend. So the master is almost ready to be used. I'm so excited. I'm so tired of living in just like random rooms and moving all the time in the house. We have this giant mirror and it doesn't fit. So I have to go get different mirrors. Carpet has started. They ripped all the carpet out, so let's go see it. That's actually crazy. Wow. I can't wait to see it with the new carpet in. And this is the carpet that we got. So you can kind of get the vibes. It's light gray with a lot of black in there and it's super soft. It's 85 ounce, which I don't know how high carpet can go, but that is a very heavy, thick, very high quality carpet. And in our bedroom, we got 100 ounce. Little update on our guest bathroom. I still need to move a lot of our stuff. Sorry, the carpets are going in downstairs. I still need to move a lot of our stuff out of here, but this is what it looks like so far. Yeah. It's so pretty, all the gold. Oh my gosh, guys, it is now like the week of our wedding and it is moving day part like three. Getting our furniture in, floors are done, carpet's done. The day finally came to put in the furniture. Just a little context here, our carpet didn't get done until Monday and people were arriving on Wednesday for our wedding. So we had two days to pretty much move into our primary bedroom, move in all of our furniture, get all the guest stuff set up. So these two days were very late nights and lots of help. Shout out to literally everybody throughout this entire process. There were so many people who helped with moving and remodeling and tearing things out and showing up for us and that is just the beauty of having community and living by family so thank you so much especially to my dad who put in a ton of work to help us get this house ready in time this is officially the best furniture ever owned what in the world Woo. <laughs> up on top of that chair ready we gotta lift up ready. okay 
right? Never mind. <laughs> Let me get underneath it. So then it came to actually putting our furniture downstairs, which we didn't think about. There was no way to do this properly because our back door also has stairs down to it. It's a basement that's underground. So there was no real good way to get this massive couch we decided to buy down the stairs. So my brother Benji, my dad, and my husband, and then Logan showed up. We're all working together to try to get it down. We did scratch our stairs, and yes, there are still scratches on the stairs because of it on our brand new floors, which is absolutely perfect. But at least our furniture got down there. <laughs> Fingers and those. Oh. Okay. Oh my Good goodness. Job. Yay. The combo. Trying to do math. Lift it over and kind of lock it <laughs> yeah. down. But that's this is not your typical algebra. No, version. it is not. <laughs> So the hardest part about all this is we decided we wanted to have a bar downstairs. There's one section down there that has the vinyl flooring instead of carpet. And we wanted to have like a little bar so we could host and have snacks and have drinks downstairs. Because downstairs is more of like a hangout type of vibe. But there was no way to get this bar down there. We got this bar off Facebook Marketplace. Someone had built it. And we originally were like, let's lift it up over the railing and drop it down. But it was super heavy. So at this point, it almost kind of, because it was top heavy, it fell over. And we would have absolutely gashed our wall right there. So I'm really glad we decided to stop. And then unfortunately, I don't have a video. But a bunch of the guys in my family came over and somehow got it in the back door. I was working, so I didn't have time to grab my camera. I really wish I would have prioritized that for you guys but here's me trying to explain how they did it. And a few weeks later, I just wanna give one more little house update before I show y'all the final product because we are like 99.9% .9 done with this house remodel. All of that was before the wedding. We tried to knock it out as fast as we could, get as much as done as we could before the wedding. Then we kind of took a huge break and now it is almost completely done. So I'm gonna show you a few more things. First of all, where we left off was getting the bar inside and I'm gonna show you guys how we did that. I didn't actually get a video of it because I was working when the boys did it, but basically a bunch of the guys in my family came over. That thing's freaking heavy too, but they picked it up and put it over the railing. Abram was down there, they dropped it down to him and then they ran around and all like slowly put it in there. Drop it down and then like slowly down in there. Also look at all these fall leaves, it's so pretty. And now it's in here and it looks so good and I need to turn the lights on. I also painted it black so it actually kind of matches a lot better down here. We have our bar fully stocked up, mini fridge full of drinks, and then we also have this clear mini fridge which is like energy drinks and stuff. But this is what the basement looks like. It's pretty much done besides like decor. The downstairs bathroom is done. And with a house remodel, like, there's always going to be things that I want to do. Like, I would love to change that mirror to a different mirror, but that's also expensive and a lot of work. So, we're just going with the basics for now. <laughs> Now everything upstairs is done except the fireplace and I have some people here today working on finishing up some stuff. But here are the updates. It looks so good, got some decor up. They're doing the backsplash right now. We went with just like nice black tile, white grout. I had to move everything out so they can put down the trim in here. We're missing trim. But here is our bathroom. Finally got our shower door. And this is like the best shower ever. I put up some shelves yesterday so I can finally use those. It's like a waterfall shower head. Also with a handheld attachment. Ooh, let me show you the inside. Oh, I literally love it so much. My vanity usually goes in here so this is where I can get ready. I hung up this shelf for like extra storage because this isn't very long on the side but it just turned out so good also the whole time we've lived here none of the plugs in any of the bathrooms have worked which has been a huge l but we finally replaced our gfi that's all that needed to happen and now all the plugs work and our plugs outside weren't working and i was trying to put up some lights outside they're finally working out i don't know why they're all attached to one gfi but it's replaced, we're good to go. And the window in here, so much light, I love it. So I'm gonna do my makeup right here, it's just perfect. Also getting those lights replaced today. But other than that, our bedroom is done. I also finally got my closet doors on. They were like too long because the carpet is too thick or like the pad is too thick. So we had to trim them shorter off the bottom and now they fit, yay! We were missing trim here and just got that put on today. Same with this bathroom, we were missing trim. Finally got that all done. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I haven't even seen it done yet. This bathroom, I think I've already shown, but I'll just show it again, because oh my gosh, like crazy. Oh, I still need to put that up there. This room has been done, but here's a little, I just don't remember what I've showed or not, so. 
Also, can we talk about the view from this room? Ignore all the random stuff I have out there, but the fall vibes, ah! We got 90% of our house done within two months, which is absolutely crazy for an entire house remodel. There was pretty much not one thing in this house that we didn't touch. We initially were like, we'll just do a basic remodel and then our budget just went <laughs> and we just started remodeling so much. Um, the way we were able to afford this remodel was actually by selling the house that I had bought when I was 18, my first house. And we pretty much used most of the money that we got on the profits to put into this house. We also got a really good deal on this house, so we were able to put more money into the remodel, but we really went hard. I mean, we're talking new toilets, new paint, new floors, new carpet, anything you could think of, we kind of did. The only thing that didn't get touched was basically the base of the house. We didn't really mess too much with the layout. And then when our wedding came, it was done enough that we were able to host and it made every single late night exhaustion, just every emotion that we had felt this entire time worth it to see our family is staying in our house my best friends staying in our house and getting to enjoy it was worth every single second of it we love that we have a big enough house to be able to host everybody that we love we love the location and this was really just a dream come true so although it was a lot of work it was a thousand percent worth it and we will not be moving anywhere anytime soon so who is ready for a good old before and after Get this one thing clean. So now that you have seen the house, what do we think? I think I did a pretty good job and there will always be projects that we're working on, things to get done, updates I wanna do, but now we're kind of in the decorating phase. So our house is five bedrooms, just under 3,000 square feet. And honestly, it's way more room than we need, but we wanna grow in this house and have a family in this house and live in this house forever. We absolutely love this house. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching our remodel because we did not enjoy doing it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, am I? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content from me in this house. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.